the defending from Matthew Olison. We've, we've talked about Chelsea's attacking qualities. Well, when United have got the ball, they're very, very quickly onto him to, to put them out of the stride and to try and win the ball back. And they've ended up with a corner from really out of nothing. Matthew Sunday had to be on his guard because he was being chased down. The corner is a tester, and it's a scrappy moment in the United penalty area. There might be another one to follow. The pace on the cross was dealt with by Ethan Hamilton. It was a bit of a, a scrappy affair, sort of ricocheting around in the box. Nobody missed, Shalaba missed his, missed his strike there. That was a swing and a miss, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Deeper this time, Reese changes up there, that will be a goal kick. A yeah. little bit of a breather for Manchester United. Yeah, they need it. Different type of corner this time, like you said, Dave, he's gone longer to find Reese James at the back post. He out jumps Joe Riley, can't get any direction on his header or any power for that matter. We're playing tonight at the home of Aldershot Town, the side currently top of the National League on goal difference ahead of Dover. They won by a goal to nil at Gateshead on Saturday. It's a really tight division. Two points covers first down to tenth. And bear in mind, it's not a not that early a league table. They've all played 11 games. Yeah, it's quite incredible. I knew that they were doing well before I came down here. I didn't realise that after the result on Saturday they'd gone top of the league, but they look well equipped. Uh, Gary Waddock still in charge he here, is, yeah? Yeah, he is indeed. Been here for a few years and they were on the cusp last year, I know that. And this year they're taking it to new levels. Yes, his second spell at the club, Gary Wallet took them up into the Football League in his first spell. And as my producer's making the point, there are signs saying the Wadfather Part 2 all <laughs> around this ground, because it is his second spell here. I've seen it, yeah. He's very well loved in these parts. Two points covering first down a tenth, though, is remarkable, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's incredible. Don't lose a game. Collie to Samut. And Maddox. Hudson Odoi taking on Riley. He'll do well to beat him for pace. Yeah, he does get the chance, though, to get the cross, and it's a poor one. Yeah, they're looking to isolate Hudson Adoy. He's obviously got skill and trickery and pace as well, because Joe Riley is definitely no slouch. And he just managed to create his an angle for the cross. And he fluffed it, and here's his earlier chance. Brilliant run. First and foremost, a turn on the touchline to get away. And then he outstripped DJ Buffon's got across him and couldn't find the finish, fortunately for United. He's only 16 years of age as well. Turned 17 in November. Eight goals in 25 appearances for the under-18s last season. Looking for his first reserve goal, and he was unfortunate not to get it moments earlier. We've had 25 minutes now. At this stage of this fixture last season, United were ahead, but Chelsea had had more of the ball. Felt he was fouled. Maddox steps away from him. Mulheim. Challenge was from Hamilton. Grant steps away from Riley. Had time to pick someone out in the middle but couldn't do it. Kehinde, Reese change just walloped that at him. <laughs> Kehinde, in fairness to him, has just bounced straight back up again. Yeah. There's a collective gasp 
from all round. Jacob Maddox, Bristol lad, born down south, came from Bristol City as a 14-year-old. The switch finds Reese James. Can he get in behind Zach Durnley? Oh, he's done very well there indeed. Yeah, he has. He has played it off. Josh Grant, as he made the run, tried to play the ball inside him. Zach Durnley stuck to his guns. And saved another corner by playing it off him. So O'Hara with the goal kick. And towards James Wilson, but didn't quite get there. Mitchell to Gehinde. He just looks a bit isolated up there. I know he's not had a lot of service, James Wilson, but... Back. There might be a chance here. As Buffon finds Durnley, pokes it to Wilson, who tried to go. This is where Chelsea can be dangerous. Riley's intervention was crucial there. Crucial, yeah, because he was in. Hudson Adoy, he was definitely in. It's well watched by Joel Riley. Yes, support up to James Wilson will be vital for United this evening, you would have thought, because Chelsea do look strong physically at the back. And therefore, James can't do it all on his own. No. Having said that, I do fancy him one-on-one -on -one against any of these defenders. Kehinde, Buffonge, Riley taking on Grant. Trying to find that little bit of space to get the cross in, he just can't shake him off. Durnley, very nearly fell for Wilson. From Warren, yeah, it was. It was. Tyrell Warren turns 19 next month. It was uh, an important part of the under 19 side which beat Basel in the UEFA Youth League last week. This week is the League Cup, of course, for the first team. And Wednesday night, we're on duty as United host Burton Albion. The pace on the ball is always going to carry through to Kieran O'Hara. He's been mightily impressive in this opening half hour. I wonder what Joe Edwards thinks so far. There's been a lot of forward thinking from Chelsea. Obviously hit the post and forced Kieran O'Hara into a, the odd save, but will he want a bit more... Sort of clinical approach with the final ball, the, the last thoughts. Yeah, and that's the that's really from what I've seen in the opening half hour, the only thing that's been wrong with Chelsea. They work hard to get the ball back, they've very got very good close control, the long and short range passing is good. It's back with Grant. The game's hit a bit of a lull after a
which they could quite easily have been. It's still nil-nil. Chelsea couldn't keep that tempo going for a whole 90 minutes, and like you said, Dave, they've slowed down after half an hour. It might just give United that chance to regroup. but he decided to go for James instead. Muhain up against Mitchell, never thinking to find James. Hudson-Odoi charges in on it, gets his angles all wrong. It's turned into a really good pass, but <laughs> one that wasn't really controlled and dealt with by Rhys James. Well, that was a clever back heel, it really was. And Hudson-Odoi came in at the back post, you can see it again. It's whizzed in by James, unmarked at the back post. Joe Riley obviously covering the middle. He didn't get a good contact on it and indeed passed it back to where it came from, but has to go down as a bit of a let off again for Man United. Well, I'm to believe that he's not got more goals like that because he can strike a ball, as he proved yesterday so wonderfully with that great start he gave United. Yeah, two goals in uh, more than three and a half years. James with the cross. O'Hara fields that and looks to get United going here with Kehinde. Only Wilson further forward than he. Mitchell tries to set. 